Looks like you're all set then. Both teams, take your starting positions. <laughs> He may be a fool, but even a fool can be dangerous with a blade in hand. And I'm sure his lackeys are well trained, whatever deficiencies they may have otherwise. Make sure you don't underestimate them. Got it. Well, he is a member of the fencing club, after all. <laughs> we'll see how cocksure he feels when we're through with him. Let's have a good fight, everyone. Representatives from classes one and seven. Combatants, weapons at the ready. Begin. <laughs> I'll show you what real nobility is. My turn! Leave it to me. My turn. There. Here we go. All right, let's do this. Got Good. It. Yep. My turn. Give it up, everyone. It's my turn. How about this? Yep. <laughs> Leave it to me. Here we go. 
kneel before me! Right! Give it up, everyone! It's my turn! How about this? Go! Here! Take this! Alright! Open. Gotcha. Right. Give it up, everyone. Yep. Arc. My turn. Appreciate it. Take this. It's my turn. Hang in there, everyone. <laughs> Thanks. It's my turn. Take this! Here we go! Alright, let's do this! Alright, leave it to me! Right! <laughs> yep! Leave it to me! How about this? My turn! Leave it to me! Give it up, everyone! My turn! There's a chance! I'll take you up! My turn! Appreciate it. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. How about this? Go! 
My turn. My turn. Now. Gotcha. It's my turn. How about this? Right. Give it up, everyone. My turn. My turn. This is absurd. Right. Leave it to me. Whirlwind. To me. My turn. How about this? Go. Flames, gather on my blade. Strike. How could I lose? We'll cut our own path.
enough. The winning team is class seven. The victory is ours. Yeah, we showed them. Not bad. A passable performance. <sighs> that was some fight. We won. We really won. How does it taste choking down your own hubris? This can't be happening. How could we lose to this... this rabble? <sighs> hey, that was a good fight. Pretty intense, too. You had us on the defensive more than a few times. We get another chance sometime, how a Get your filthy hands off me! Don't you dare start acting like you're above me, Reed Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. <laughs> You son of a... Uh, that, that was uncalled for. The rest of you are no better. Did you somehow think scoring highest on the exams would mask the fact that you crawled up from the dregs of society? What if you, Reinford, a family of upstart arms peddlers who think being flush with money is all the pedigree they need? And what if the Barbarian and your Jaeger taught? I'm surprised they could even read the enrollment forms! What the hell? I won't deny how the Reinfern Company made its millions. Am I the Jaeger taught? What terrible things to say. Patrick? I think you might have crossed the line. Silence! You don't tell me what I can and can't say. How utterly foul. Enough of this. I'm not sure I understand. Maybe you can clear things up. What is it about nobles that makes them superior to those who aren't? I won't deny that I'm not from this country. That's as plain as the nose on my face. Back in my homeland, we don't really have anything like your class system, so the concept is pretty foreign to me. Really, I mean no offense by asking, but I want to know what it is that elevates nobles above the rest of the people. Superiority of nobles is self-evident. We come from families of distinguished lineage built on generations of tradition. That gives us a dignity, refinement, and pride that those of common birth could never hope to possess. We represent the pinnacle of man's achievement. That is what makes us nobles. Ooh, I see. I've witnessed that dignity and refinement myself. I see it in how Laura and Eusis carry themselves. But that leads me to another question. I can understand the importance of tradition, lineage, dignity, pride. I get why those would matter. But where do you think they let you get off saying the kinds of things you did? Well, I... I... Gaius. Hmm. Patrick, I... I really think you should... <laughs> Gaius raises an excellent question. I'd say this marks the end of our mock battle. Many thanks to the members of Class 1 for their gracious cooperation. Oh, and just for future reference, self-study doesn't mean wander around outside doing whatever you want. That goes for you two over there, too. Back to the classroom with you. Yes, Instructor! Please excuse us. 
I've decided that for your combat training tomorrow, I'll be pointing out everything you did wrong today. I'll be giving you the full shameful play-by-play, -play, of course, but I want you to really think about where you need to improve. <sighs> Excuse us. Patrick! W -w Wait for us! Oh, for a while there, I was worried that was really gonna get ugly. As far as I'm concerned, it already had. This is exactly why I can't stand nobles. Please, don't place me in the same category as that imbecile. Thanks, Gaius. That meant a lot to me. Huh? Not sure why you're thanking me. But whatever I did, I'm glad to have helped. Okay, that concludes this month's practical exam. Next, I'll be giving you the locations for your next field study. Oh, yes, it had almost slipped my mind. Where to this month? Everyone, take one of these. Hmm... Rionia Island. That's in the far west of the Empire, isn't it? Indeed. It's an island off the coast of La Mer Province, known for its ruins. However... The North Highlands are beyond the Empire's northeastern borders, are they not? That's right. They're out past Ruwer on the other side of the border. Since the Age of Antiquity, the Highlands have been home to a tribe of nomads. Yeah, now that you mention it. You're from the Nord Highlands, aren't you, Gaius? Sure am. We've actually made arrangements for everyone in Group A to stay at my home in our settlement. I hope you'll all enjoy yourselves. something from the Academy. You did really well, Reen. Still, I couldn't believe it when I saw Nord Highlands written right next to our names. I wasn't ever expecting our field studies to take us that far out. Well, it does make sense, since it's an important place in the history of the Academy's founder, Emperor Dreykuls. Indeed, the Highlands are where he first began to solidify his military power during the War of the Lions. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the Highlands, to be honest. No worries. I'll tell you more about Nord on the way there. Anyway, I hope you're all ready for a long trip. The train ride between here and there is over eight hours. Eight hours? That's almost an entire day's journey. It sounds as though the experience will be more than worth the trouble, though. By the time we get there, it'll probably be evening already. You think we should go stock up on some snacks before we leave? <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Lady Elisa. Good morning, Sharon. We're almost ready to head out to the station. Oh, of course, of course. I hope you all have a safe journey. I would also be very pleased if you would accept this. What is it? I took the liberty of preparing some sandwiches for all of you, as well as a pot of lemon tea for each group. I'm afraid I wasn't able to fix a proper breakfast, so I hope you'll enjoy these on the train instead. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Such a thoughtful caretaker. We'd be more than happy to accept them. Oh, think nothing of it. Any good maid would do as much. <sighs> well, well, everyone sure loves you, don't they? I guess my objecting to you being here just made you work that much harder to cozy up to everyone else. <laughs> I would never dream of such a thing. 
Please have a safe and pleasant journey, my lady. I'll be counting the hours until your return. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Hold on. You aren't plotting anything else, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Yeah, if you say so. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Have a safe journey. <laughs> Please excuse us. The dormitory's in your hands while we're away. took off then. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Would it have been too much to see them off if you were awake this whole time? Their field study begins the moment they wake up on the day of their departure. So since I'm responsible for grading their performance, I figured it was best to leave them to their own devices. I see. You make a valid point. Just one question for you. When will you be returning? Ah, you truly are perceptive, Lady Sarah. I suppose there is no reason not to tell you. I will be returning before my lady and her classmates do. That's as much as I can tell you. I see.
Is something on your mind, Elise? Has some rugged, handsome young man caught your eye? Like your brother, perhaps? Please, your highness. Hmm, I just thought I saw someone I recognized. But it couldn't possibly have been him. I can't imagine what would bring him to the capital this early in the morning. Someone you recognized? Hmm, I wonder... <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't deny it. That your brother is handsome, I mean. <laughs> Please! <sighs> I knew that I shouldn't have told you about him. Oh, come now, I'm only teasing. There's no need to sulk. I'll give you a little something from Mariage Cross to make up for it. But that's an adult lingerie brand. <laughs> Please excuse us, Captain Claire. I'm sorry. I hope I haven't sullied your ears with our scandalous conversation. <laughs> Not at all, Your Highness. I came to inform you that the special train to the Imperial Villa will be arriving shortly. I look forward to accompanying you today. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to have you with us. Certainly. Shall we begin? Go ahead and draw. I'll go first then. <laughs> well done. Done. Now I'll use a bolt. Now I'll use a bolt. I hate to do this, but. Huh. Well played. I lost, but I had a lot of fun. <laughs> 